Well, I, yeah, it was good. I mean, it, it, those it's tough, just human nature. You know, you, you see a, a, a team with a, that's growing, a young team, and doesn't have their so-called you know, their star player. Uh, human nature sets in where you don't really put your foot on the metal. And uh, I thought defensively we had moments. Offensively we had moments. Uh, we had some different lineups with Pat being out. But, uh, you know, the ball stuck a little bit because of matchup situations. So the ball didn't swing as fluid as we wanted it to. But again, we found a way. And I think that's a, a, a sign of maturity, a uh, team coming together a little bit, and understanding uh, what's the time score situation and finding a way to win. Did you get the double header in for Bruno and Fred there to get him in those last two? Well, yeah, it, it's, it's one of those things, you know, you never you want to, I didn't, you know, 98 to 113, the way they shot the ball, they had Houston in the same situation, came back and made it a close game, two point game against Houston at Houston. So that was very vivid in my, in my mind. And so, uh, again, you know, never want to uh, think a game is over when until it's definitely over. And, uh, it's too important, but you know, Fred and Bruno just played this afternoon in a in a game, so you know, I didn't want to get him there, get him too many minutes, and just wear him out for for no reason. Pat, you into that smaller second unit. Were you happy with how that unit responded? Well, it, it, we got us out of sorts a little bit. I don't think our ball movement was as crisp um, as, as it should have been. You know, we had Norm playing uh, Anthony Bennett at the four and T. Ross playing the four a little bit, got them kind of out of kilter, but then still. It caused other issues on the other end when we were trying to run the break and run the run the lanes. So it gave us some advantages. Uh, much rather have Pat in there at the four. Uh, but again, the guys, you know, made made do, understood what we was trying to do offensively, and finally found a way to rebound. Uh, they still kicked our butts on the board, but we found a way during a couple of stretches where we got some boards. Did you get a minute or 90 seconds of Jonas with uh, Lucas? What well, you know, again, they 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 were big, but then they su they quickly substituted and went back small again. So we had to get them out. So I thought maybe that we were going to have a chance to play Lucas a little bit at the four, uh, which we may have to do at some point, and you know, we'll make sure that gives them a chance to play there a little bit. Would you like to see that with him a little bit? I like to see that. I mean, at some point in his career, I think he'll be there. I think you know, at some point in his career, he can stretch out there and do that. I think Jakob. Also, will can stretch out there and play the four some, uh, you know. So that that's you know it's a good time to try to see that if they had a given set matchup. If you subtract the Atlanta game, have you seen enough defensively to see positive indications going into that West Coast trip? Well, we'll see. I mean, again, it's two games we got to continue to grow. That's what was our goal going into the night. Um, you know, we we got to still continue to show up our pick and roll defense. We had some breakdowns. Clear breakdowns tonight, losing the guy in the basket, not rotating, cracking in. Lucas goes and tries to get a block, and nobody takes his man under the basket. So those, cleaning up all those situations in a, in a uh, big game are important. And we got to keep the big picture in mind and um, make sure we do the little things and continue to improve. It's not going to happen in a, in a day. Uh, it's not going to happen in two games. It's, it's going to be a progression of, of games strung together. And this, this road trip will be a test for our defense because you got some high octane teams in Utah, Portland, Golden State, Phoenix, um, you know, San Antonio and Lakers, all high octane offensive teams. So our defense will be put to a test. Is there anything specific bothering Pat or just general? Just rest, just total rest. He's fine, 100%. You know, he's got a little bumps and bruises, but he's, you know, like every player in the NBA, if you got any significant minutes. Uh, but uh, he's fine. Just wanted to give him a rest. I think I hinted at that before the game.